Hello sci-fi fans, I'm Greg from GregReviewsSciFi.com and today we're going to talk about a book series called The Ember War Saga written by Richard Fox. So I've read the first three of this nine book series so far and if you know anything about sci-fi books you know that series dominates this genre. Right, I mean, I've read books that have 14, 15, 16 books in a series, and then they take the universe and they start writing a bunch more books. I personally, I love that about this genre. You know, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people who read books just, just want it to end, right? Or um, they get fatigued by the story. But I think if the story's changing and, and, and the author is good, I think it, it's like watching a TV show, right? You just wait for the next, you know, 14, 18 hour adventure in a book. So that's how this Ember War saga series is. So far, I've read the first three of the eight books. And it starts with a guy named Mark Ibera, who gets contacted by an alien device sent to Earth to warn him about the Zeros, which is an alien invasion. I thought the book was really good, not original. I mean, I've probably read 15 books, maybe 20 books, with this pretty much exact plot. Guy on Earth gets contacted by aliens, warning of an impending doom of the aliens coming to destroy Earth. But it's totally fine to write about this stuff over and over because the story's a little different, the characters are different, and nobody's, I don't think, got it perfect. And, um, you know, Richard Fox did a good job with this storyline, right? The book fast forwards like 60 years after the probe or device or whatever you want to call it, contacts Mark and, you know, prepares the earth for the Zeros. Now in book two, they take it a little further and they start exploring outward, right? So they, they get contact, they pick up a signal from a planet that's broadcasting that it has this the key to eternal life. They go to the planet, they check it out, everyone's dead. Uh, that's not a spoiler, really, I don't think. I hope, anyway. Sorry if it is. But anyway, they get to the planet, everyone's dead, and they've got to figure out what's going on. That's book two. Now, book three is more ground assault. You know, book two is a lot of ground assault and less space. But book three is more ground assault, pretty good. But we also learn that the Zeros are being controlled by another alien. Again, not a super original story. It really feels like the Ori in Stargate, uh, if, you, if you've seen Stargate, which if you are watching my sci-fi channel, you know, come on. Go binge watch some Stargate. But anyway, so, so, that's what, so book three is when you learn kind of that the Zeros are having their strings pulled like I said, not super original. It's it's well executed though. I really like the books. I mean, like I said, I went ahead and bought all nine and I bought them recently. So this book came out, I think in 2015. So it's been around for a while. Um, for story, I gave it four stars. It's a good solid story. Characters, I gave it four stars. I don't like that, you know, four stars is great. Really great, you know, well done, but I really wish that we would have had a series of books with just Mark Ibera and the different stuff he was facing as he was getting the earth ready. I think we missed out on that track of books. Pace is good. I ripped through these three books really quick. Technology I put as a four star. I mean, it's got some really cool tech, but it's nothing earth shattering. Um, you know, to get a five star for technology, you've got to invent something new that no one's thought of and execute it in a way that's beautiful. And four star, I, I would say, is, is going to be a good execution of technology. Originality, man, I wanted to give this two stars. I really did. But there's enough originality in the story to make it really worth picking up. So I gave it three and a half stars which gives me an overall rating of four stars, which is pretty doggone good. Like I said, I have only read the first three, but I plan on reading all nine. So I think that if you can, you know, run over to Amazon, I'd buy the bundle of them 
and I would read them in between other things to kind of break up other series and things like that. Uh, but I think overall, nicely done, solid space opera, kind of military space warfare book. Um, nice job. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.